From the word go, the World Health Organization indeed gave us questionable information. Information that could not lead Africa and especially give Africa the way forward to prepare themselves. That has indeed dented the credibility of the World Health Organization. The credibility is further dented by the advice that came up about the flights that we saw, we are told, there's no transmission that could take place from the flights. And later on, they changed that there was a link between the flights, the air travel, and the COVID-19. Today, as Africa looks back four months ago, what have we achieved? And what have we done? How many countries in the world are joining the growing list to demand transparency, openness, to demand reasons, to demand answers as to why we, they were not told about certain steps to be taken, like washing hands, keeping a distance at an advanced stage. When did the World Health Organization know that this disease needs to wash hands? You need to stop it by washing hands. You need to stop it by standing a distance of 1.5 meters away from your partner or your friend or your relative or anybody that you meet. When? Chinese officials ignored their reporting obligations to the World Health Organization and pressured the World Health Organization to mislead the world when the virus was first discovered by Chinese authorities. Countless lives have been taken and profound economic hardship has been inflicted all around the globe. These are some of the things, and this week or last week, Russia joined a growing number of countries to demand answers. There are several countries that are demanding answers. Kenya is on the committee, is now appointed on the committee of the World Health Organization Council. India is the chair and person. And India itself, as the chair, has already triggered a debate as to why this was let out and they destroyed the world. Whatever they will come out with will not go away from my original opinion that are deformed on the question of COVID-19 coming from Wuhan in China in December and only declared a pandemic in March. Those who have ears can hear. Those who don't, it's up to us. But the blame lies squarely at the doorstep of the agency of international state that should have warned us about the COVID-19. That is my opinion.